Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. In today's episode, let me show you how you can create simple spreadsheets not by using numbers but instead using pages. So here we are inside of Pages. Now you can create a simple table in a Pages document that has many features of creating a spreadsheet inside numbers. So if you need a simple spreadsheet, you might just be able to get by with Pages and not actually have to go and buy and learn how to use numbers. So let's create a document using a page layout rather than a word processing template. And this will give us this nice big blank area here and we can simply add a table to it by clicking the table button at the top. And now you get this very simple table here and we can begin to work with it. So let's start by entering some sample data. Let's just uh, do a product sold spreadsheet and then just enter in some sample data. You can use tabs to go between the cells which is what I'm doing. And I've quickly filled it in. Now. If I select it, you can see here in the inspector, which came up automatically when I created the table, under the tables tab, I can add more rows very easily. I can add another column, a couple columns. I can also adjust the number of header rows and header columns. And I'm going to put a footer right there. And let's say we want to do a simple formula now and get the total for this column. So I can do that just as I would do it in numbers. You initiate a formula by just hitting the equal sign and now I'm actually typing in a formula. So I can do uh, something very simple like sum and click this column there and it will fill in the name of the column. And you can see I've got the total and I can actually copy and move over here and paste. And I'll paste it in and I get the total for each of these. And you can see when I select it, if I double click it, the formula comes up. Now this comes really handy if you want to play around with some numbers. You know, have a spreadsheet program. You can do any regular spreadsheet formula you want. So for instance, uh, this times this plus that. And you get the result. And then the important thing is, of course, if you change a number, it will then update the result. You can also, of course, format these cells like you can anything else in Pages. So you can select something here and say uh, make it a larger font or change its color. Uh, so you can do a lot of different things like you would in a spreadsheet program to pretty it up. And you can sort as well. So for instance, I can select this, this uh, table here and then go to rows and columns here and sort by something. So let me select this column here and then sort ascending by that. You can see they're in alphabetical order now. Or I can say sort by this one here very easily. And you notice in that menu too you can do things like uh, adding rows and columns, um, splitting rows and columns, other functions you may need to perform. You can also adjust the size of columns and rows here or you can simply drag here in the table. And you can do the same thing uh, adjusting borders types of borders uh, on the different sides of the different cells by using everything here. You can even set cell backgrounds to gradients and colors and such. And even have the advanced uh, alternating color here so you can see the table alternates each color. So you have a lot of options that you would, wouldn't expect to find a, in a simplified spreadsheet inside of a word processor. You can also adjust format. You can select a cell or group of cells. So for instance let's select these and go to format here and I can change the format to currency for those and change a bunch of different things. Even conditional format. So for instance uh, you can say um, if it's greater than 0.75 um, then set it to bold. Now you can see that this one here is conditional, conditionally formatted. If I change it to 0.6, it's no longer that. If I change it to 0.77, you can see it goes to that using conditional formatting. Now, if you want to help with formulas, uh, you can do that using the help menu here. You can see you can go up and see I work formulas and functions help, and this will bring up the help document. The same thing in numbers. So you can see you really do have availability of all the functions that are in numbers even though you're right here in pages. So you've got 
some general help, and a function reference. And you can see that there are a ton of different functions. So you can see that if you only occasionally need to create a spreadsheet or maybe just use spreadsheets to just calculate a few numbers or run a few numbers really quickly, you can actually do that inside of Pages without ever having to go to Numbers. Now Numbers is much more advanced. Having multiple tables on a spreadsheet, having multiple spreadsheets in a document, uh, having all sorts of different things and be able to tie that to graphs for instance. In Pages you would have to create a graph separately and feed the data into it. So it's just a good option if you just need something simple every once in a while. Hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.